Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the Canadian Mathematical Olympia 2014. It says, show that for all positive real numbers a1, a2 up to an, with the product being 1, the expression a1 over 1 plus a1 plus a2 over 1 times a1 times 1 plus a2, adding all the way to an over the product of 1 plus a1, 1 plus a2, all the way to 1 plus a n is greater than or equal to 2 to the n minus 1 over 2 to the n. When we want to prove that a certain inequality is true for all real numbers, we often relate it with the most famous results like the ANGM or the Cauchy Swartz. However, there is no apparent way that we could directly apply these two inequalities to prove the one above. Without the usual shortcuts, the next thing that I would try is to simplify the expression a bit before I go and find another way out. In particular, I will start off with small cases of n, say when n equals 2. If n is just 2, then left hand side would equal to a1 over 1 plus a1 plus a2 over 1 plus a1 times 1 plus a2. Then we simplify this. And we arrive at this expression. Noting that the numerator is just one less than the denominator, so I'll rewrite that as 1 minus 1 over this product. Now I'll try this again when n equals 3. Note that because I am combining the two, the two fractions, I actually have this sign to be minus instead of plus. And after simplifying, again, I get another expression very similar to the case when n is 2, is that again it's 1 minus some fraction with 1 as the numerator. Looking back, when n equals 1, the expression seems more obvious, which is the left hand side can actually be also be written as 1 minus 1 over 1 plus a1. There is actually a pattern among these three expressions, which is that the numerator and denominator only differ by 1. So we now have a hint on what the general expression would actually become. So from the pattern observed just now, we can make the following claim is that the express the expression at left hand side is actually equal to 1 minus 1 over the product of 1 plus a1 1 plus a2 all the way to 1 plus a n and i'm going to prove this by induction trivial when for the base case when n is 1. Now assume that this is true when n is k, which means this expression is just 1 minus 1 over this product then for the inductive step we can change the first k terms into this and then we add the 
final term. Then again, using the same trick, by combining two fractions, just like what we did when we try to find an observation when n is equal to or n equals to 3. Again, we arrive at the same result. And so our claim is correct. Now with the help of the claim, we know that the inequality is actually equivalent to 1 minus 1 over this product And we have to show that this product, this expression, 1 minus 1 over this product, is greater than or equal to 2 to the n minus 1, and the whole thing divided by 2 to the n. And we're going to simplify this, this expression a bit, which is equivalent to product is actually supposed to be at least 2 to the n. Now this inequality is easy to prove because it is a direct consequence of the AMGM inequality. Just to remind you again that the AMGM inequality says for any n positive real numbers that arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean. If we apply this result on each of 1 plus ai for all i from 1 to n, is that 1 plus ai divided by 2 is greater than or equal to square roots of 1 times ai, which is just ai. And so 1 plus ai is at least 2 times square root of ai. Multiplying, we will have the left hand side spread the product will be greater than or equal to 2 to the n times the square root of a1 times a2 all the way up to a n. And this will be exactly 2 to the n because as given in the condition, the product of these n real num positive real numbers is 1. And so we have the desired inequality. Finally, Whenever we need to prove that an inequality is true and there is actually an equal sign, then we have to write down the equality case. Indeed, equality holds when the 1 plus ai's are all equal to 2 for all i from 1 to n, which means ai are all equal to 1. And so that's it. We're done. Let's leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternative methods in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you for your support. See you next time.